Is my language to blame for me not saving more? Am I linguistically challenged to always have to separate the future from the present tense? Should I learn a futureless language to save more? Keith Chen, a behavioral economist, studied how language tense could be the reason why we don't save as much as a country that has a futureless tongue. When he researched countries that were all a part of the Organization for Economic Development and Growth, known as OCD for short, and all these countries have an invested interest in democracy and economic growth, he found that countries that have a futureless language had a propensity to save more. Luxembourg had the highest savings rate, with the United States, us, coming in second to last just above Greece. But don't worry, our friends across the pond in the United Kingdom just came out ahead of us just barely. It could explain why 40% of people who have a million or more who participated in a survey by UBS on what is wealthy felt they were not rich, felt that they did not have enough to have no financial constraints. Maybe to fix this situation, they need to learn a futureless language. Or go and ask the 28% of people who had a million or more who felt they were wealthy enough and ask them what their secret is. But back to the study by Keith Chen. A future language tells our brain subconsciously that there is a division between the future and the present, where a futureless language does not give any distinction between the two tenses. Either way, it's something to ponder, and that is the great thing about a free market. So, tell me your comments below. Check out the link of Keith Chen's talk at TED. And don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Rob Roy from The Dust.